Hi there, it's Ernest from ShipAstute. In this video, we're going to review a quick tip on getting your global entry approved using a process known as enrollment on arrival. One of the biggest frustrations with global entry is completing the final step of the process, which involves having an interview with Customs and Border Protection. I covered a tip in our global entry video where I recommended that folks constantly scan for new appointment times on the CBP website. I know a lot of folks, including myself, were surprised when they received their conditional approval only to find out that the earliest available interview slot was four months away. Plus, once you get an appointment, you're often stuck with an inconvenient time. I know that getting to the airport during a workday can be tough, especially here in Los Angeles. So last summer, CBP started piloting an option called Enrollment on Arrival at five airports, and it's since grown to 39 locations. The program basically allows you to complete your interview when you return from an international trip once you receive your conditional approval for global entry. That's where your application and background check are approved, and you're just waiting to complete the final interview. All you have to do to take advantage of the program is to follow the enrollment on arrival signs when returning from an international flight. The CBP officer will then complete the interview as you go through the normal customs and entry process. It's that simple and you don't need anything other than your passport and one other form of official ID when going through the interview. Your conditional approval for global entry should be recorded with your passport number so you won't need to provide any documentation showing your status. For those of you that might be on the fence about getting global entry, I highly suggest getting it even if you don't travel internationally very often. That's because global entry includes TSA PreCheck, which makes going through the security line on both domestic and international flights so much easier. In fact, TSA PreCheck costs $85 and global entry costs $100. So for only $15 extra, you're getting the ability to expedite your entry back into the US. Again, I recommend checking out our video on Global Entry to learn more about the program. Also, if you have a premium travel credit card, you can often get reimbursed for your enrollment fee. Lastly, if you're looking for a free way to expedite the entry process from an international trip, check out the Mobile Passport program. I still think that Global Entry is better, but there are some compelling situations where Mobile Passport might work better for you. Like if you're traveling with a group where not everyone has Global Entry. This includes families traveling together who can't use Global Entry because their kids aren't enrolled in the program. As always, here are some tips to keep in mind for those of you that may be interested in the Global Entry enrollment on arrival. Number one, you don't need to make an appointment. This program is meant to be used on a walk-in basis. This means that no appointment is necessary or even allowed. It's really as simple as just finding the right lane at customs. Number two, you have one year to complete your interview once you're conditionally approved. You obviously want to get your interview completed sooner so you can take advantage of the benefit, but keep in mind that you can wait up to 365 days after your conditional approval to complete the interview. This is helpful to know in case you want to time your interview with an upcoming international trip. Number three, give yourself extra time if processing through Canada. You'll notice that there are six airports in Canada that can complete the enrollment on arrival interview. That's because you go through US Customs on the Canadian side rather than in the US. This means that if you're traveling from Canada to the US and you want to complete your interview, give yourself extra time since you'll need to board your flight after you go through the process. In fact, this goes for any flights from Canada to the US. I've only missed a flight once in my entire life and it was from Montreal to Los Angeles. The customs and immigration control line was really long and I didn't make it to the gate in time. So give yourself a buffer. Have you tried the Global Entry Enrollment on Arrival program? If so, please share your experience below. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, please give us a thumbs up and share our video with others that might also benefit or enjoy our content. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of June and we would appreciate your help getting there. More importantly, we love hearing from folks that our videos are helpful. So if you know anyone that might benefit from our content, we would love to see it shared with others. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.